Control Panel. The control panel on the model LC7 has been designed to offer a number of both visible and hidden options for both the customer and servicing technician. Hot coffee dispensing only or hot and cold ambient coffee dispensing. When you receive the unit, the control panel overlay will show the unit capable of dispensing both hot coffee and hot water. However, an additional overlay is supplied that has hot coffee, hot water, and cold coffee buttons on it. We realize that not every location will want to deliver cold ambient coffee, so we have given you the option to activate it as needed. Every LC7 has the ability to dispense ambient coffee. To add the cold coffee feature, simply remove the existing overlay and then replace it with the one we've supplied that has the cold buttons on it. Press and hold to fill. The unit is designed as a press and hold to fill dispenser, meaning that it will continue to dispense product for as long as you hold the button down. This holds true not only for the hot and cold coffee situations, but for the hot water selections as well. Hot water delivery. The delivery of hot water from the unit is done by drawing water from the hot water tank from a separate valve and dispensing spout. You will not incur any cross-contamination. Power indicator light. Close when the power switch located at the right rear corner of the dispenser has been turned on. Ready indicator light. Glows amber when the hot water tank reaches its maximum temperature. Important. The LC7 has been designed to achieve a tank temperature that's in excess of what is deemed necessary to dispense a satisfying cup of coffee. This is because the unit does not incur the temperature loss that is normally associated with brewing over ground roast coffee. Therefore, even when the ready light is not lit, the unit will continue to deliver product at a more than sufficient finished cup temperature. Heating button. This button will not do anything if pressed. It's used in conjunction with other buttons to initiate several technician initiated procedures to be performed by authorized service personnel only. Draining the hot water tanks. There is no drain line for removing water from the hot water tanks. Instead, the tanks can be drained through the hot water dispensing spout on the front of the dispenser. This can be done either by attaching a hose to the spout, preferred method, or by draining directly into a two and a half gallon container placed directly underneath the spout. To activate the draining cycle, shut off the water to the dispenser. Press the hot water button and hold it down. While the button is down, press the heating button for five seconds until the unit beeps. This will activate a timed two minute cycle. Disconnect the unit from both its water and power supplies. Remove the lid to the hot water tank. As the unit is designed to maintain one inch of water in order to protect the heating element, you will have to manually pour out any remaining water in unit after draining. Pressing any button on the control panel will cancel the draining cycle. This will come in handy if you're draining the tank into a pitcher or bucket that will not hold the approximately two gallons that will drain out during the two minute cycle. To reactivate, repeat step two. Dispensing concentrate only or cleaning solution through the lines and pressure chamber check valve. The unit is designed to prime a new bag of concentrate very quickly. However, in the event that you either need to prime it faster or wish to dispense concentrate only, you can do so by press and hold down both heating and hot coffee to the respective side simultaneously. When done, press the hot coffee button for approximately three seconds to flush out any remaining pure concentrate in the line. If you want to run an approved rinsable cleaning solution through the lines, then simply replace the coffee bag in that compartment with a full bag of the cleaner and repeat steps one and two as shown above. When done, replace the bag with one containing clean water only and repeat steps one and two. Run for at least one to two minutes or until the line runs clear. Flushing the concentrate lines. It's highly recommended to quickly flush the concentrate lines after every four bags of product. To do so, 
You'll need to insert a screw in cap with O-ring firmly into the product spout of the side being flushed. To flush, leave the empty bag in place. Insert a screw in cap with O-ring into the dispensing spout for the corresponding side. Press the hot coffee button for that side and hold it down for one minute. Remove the bag. Caution, contents will be hot. Remove the screw in cap with O-ring. Cleaning the dispenser. Cleaning of the dispenser is divided into three areas. Although these have been touched on in previous sections of this manual, we feel it's necessary to review them again in full detail. They are cleaning of the exterior of the unit, cleaning of the pressure chamber components. These include a pressure chamber lid, a product tray, a pressure chamber, and cleaning of the concentrate lines and valves. To clean the exterior of the unit, gently wipe the unit with a slightly dampened, water-only, soft, lint-free cloth so as not to scratch the finish. The use of harsh cleaners may adversely affect the finish of the unit. To clean the pressurized chamber components, using another clean, lint-free cloth dampened in warm water only. Pressure chamber lid. Wipe off any concentrate that may accumulate paying special attention to the gasket. It's important that the gasket be kept clean and pliable so that it seals properly. Product tray. Using the same cloth, if clean, wipe off any concentrate that may have accumulated inside and outside the tray, paying special attention to the slot where the valve on the bag slides in. Caution, be careful not to break off the locking tab. Pressure chamber. Using the same cloth, if clean, wipe off any concentrate that may have accumulated inside. Pay special attention to the bottom of the chamber. Caution. Be careful when wiping to avoid damaging the check valve in the bottom of the chamber. It may be best to pour a small amount of warm water into the chamber and let it soak for a few minutes before wiping with cloth. This will help to loosen, dissolve the concentrate, making it much easier to clean. Caution. It's extremely important that a lint-free cloth is used in this area so that nothing can come off the cloth that can clog the check valve or the concentrate delivery lines. This concludes our presentation. You may now enjoy the perfect cup of coffee made to taste. Thank you.